Hello and welcome to another video. And what piece of technology are we going to unbox today? Well, it isn't my copy of Radcom, as good as it is, all the technical uh, uh, stuff in it, if you remember the RSGB. But this, which should be an antenna tuning unit. Right, well, it's, it was well packaged from, uh, from a, um, Radio World, and it's going to go on my FT2000 here. I'm going to go in line with that, from my, with my half-wave with my half-wave G5RV um, which I think, if you look at my last video on the Funcube dongle, I think I've, uh, I sort of uh, videoed it then. Well, out of the box comes this um, this manual from um, it's from LDG uh, Electronics, it's just stapled so nothing really special but obviously got some information that I'll have to uh, I'll have to read. Um, when I set it up, or before I set it up, you know what manuals are like. You look at them afterwards in general. It doesn't quite work. You try and work it out. But I think I think th this is this is uh, going to be quite straightforward. And you just press a button and it tunes and so on, and all the different bands. Anyway, right. Let's see if we can, um, we go in here. We've got a lead. Which must go to a 12 volt power supply, I presume, but I'll check that out obviously. And I think maybe I might have to get a power supply. Right, well, here it is uh, the Z100 Plus Auto Tuner, um, SWI and tuning LED lights, and on the back we have got the antenna and the, and the transceiver light with a power input 7 to 18 volts at 100 milliamps, so not, not bad at all, and some sort of radio interface. Don't know if that will link up or not. I'll have to, have to check that out. Um, well, this is the inside of the uh, of the tuning unit. Um, I undid it. It wasn't for a teardown, but simply because it said it, it takes um, it takes batteries that will last for, for up to a year because it consumes very little power and only um, and only consumes power in actually tuning the um, actual device. However, it means external batteries <laughs> um, to to the device itself. But anyway, here's the. Uh, Here's a look at all the coils and and uh, and this is a Z100 plus 10 chip it says with just a sticker on so that's custom or just programmed by them EEPROM or something I don't know I'm not that much up on electronics I need to be though still learning even at my great age anyway um, once again just a bit of a zoom on it and I will find a power supply for it I believe so I haven't got an I haven't got an internal battery um, thing. But it means it's useful for mobile use as well, of course. And the only uh, you, you mount the dashboard easily, and um, just the only thing is, is to keep it dry. It says in the manual. Anyway, onwards we go. Right, well, it's all connected up there on top of my extension speaker to my Ayesu FT2000. I'm on a clear frequency now. Yeah, power's connected, and. Uh, um, and the and the uh, these patch leads and so on and the air was connected to it and uh, it's receiving signals lots of noise as you can see um, anyway it's got here jump start or oh, real hams don't read manuals da 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 which I'll, I'll look at the detail later however it's good it's got this connect the entry because it's AM FM caraway packet so let's select AM so selected AM cool I've got the noise coming through now um, and and been a clear frequency which I am and key down to transmit a carrier. So I presume. And then once we've done that, we've got a push and hold the tune button. Push and hold the tune button on the front end of the Z100 Plus for one second, or until the tuning LED comes on. Then release. Wait for the tuning cycle to end. Ready Lee goes out, 1 to 6 seconds, and then unkey. We saw the transceiver to desired operating mode. You're ready to transmit. Well, here we go. Mike has a sent that RF power. Oh, it was on full. I mean, this, this only does 125 watt, watts, by the way. This transmitter is 100 watts. Um, but um, we'll put it, I don't know, put it, let's put it around there. So I don't want to blow any output transistors or anything. I don't know. Anyway, so let's... Let's go, let's press the tune button. It's whizzing away. I hope you can do it. And then I presume, and then 
wait for the tune cycle and readily goes out and unkey you I've done that right mm, well hopefully the SWR on this band now will be will be okay I'll do a radio check in a second I'll ask for a radio check right well, the SWR is less than 1.5 according to this so I'm quite happy with that CQ, 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 says G7OMQ, ask him for a radio check. G7OMQ for a radio check, please. Well, I've done that twice now and there's no takers. I mean, my, my antenna needs to be a lot higher. I might well do this a bit later on in the evening when there's more people likely to hear me. Uh, but for now, th thank you for watching this video. Bye-bye, until the next time.